Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. Today is a special video. We're going to do a brand new 2019 game room tour. I moved back in November 2018, had a few months to get settled in and set up, so I thought now is a great time to do a game room tour. So kicking off here, you're looking at this Amiibo special promo sign. As you come down the stairs, you got some posters, including Club Nintendo posters. Promo Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu poster. More Club Nintendo posters. Some sealed World Nintendo figures. Here is my complete Super Smash Bros. Amiibo collection. All first print, open and sealed set. The set is complete, to date. I know there's more coming, but as of the filming of this video, Piranha Plant, Ice Climbers, and King K. Rule just came out. Here's my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate banner. This here is my custom made, and yes, controller chest that my fiance made me. Opens up and reveals all my NES games. This blue trunk it's sitting on just has an overflow of consoles that I can't fit in the game room or display properly. This here is my Link Between Worlds puzzle that me and my fiance built together. Over here is just some more random amiibos that I like. Going all the way down the stairs. And then on this side here we got more Club Nintendo posters and promo posters. This side of the wall here, we've got my Misfit Amiibos. They're all either broken or loose in box. My favorite being Decapitoed. His head has come right off. And yeah, again, they're all sealed. And here I have a sealed Mega Mawile Pokemon figure. Here's a Rob NES promo poster. This is a nest that my son made me. And then a Kanto map, and then a Pokemon game timeline up to 2014. So swinging around over here, we're gonna start looking at some of my boxed games. Now all the boxed games you'll see in this video are either childhood games, games I really love, or games that have some kind of meaning to for me. So here, starting with some GBA games, up the wall. Iron Man, awesome game. The rare Castlevania double pack. Super rare Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 Game Boy combo. And again, here is a lot of my childhood games like Nails and Scales, amazing game. Looney Tunes, really good. And then, come around the corner here. Got Snow Bros. Spud's Adventure and Amazing Tater, pretty rare games. And finishing off here with King Dracula. Swinging along over here, see some bongo drums there with Dixie Kong and a white Wii U box. Here's some perler art that my fiance made me. All the perler art you see in this video, she made. And then swing on over here. Got some more complete in box Game Boy Advance games. Including Donkey Kong 1, 2, and 3. I was a fan made Mother 3. Amazing game. They really should make protectors for Pokemon Pinball. Now, behind this storage closet here, I have my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate promo standee. Got this a few weeks ago from Walmart. Absolutely amazing to have. It's actually double sided here, so if you flip it around, you can see more characters. Which, it's unreal to see Cloud, Mega Man, Mario, Sonic, Snake, Inkling, all in the same thing. It's like a dream. On the floor here we have my NES controller mat welcoming you. <clears throat> here I have some reading, reading material for people that come over. We've got the Smash Bros. Ultimate Guide. My favorite issue of Nintendo Power, Super Mario RPG. Got Super Mario Chess there. 
Then we have the final and first issues of Nintendo Power. <clears throat> Up here is a Kyogre figure sitting on top of my Vectrex. Here we have my Virtual Boy and a couple original arcade tabletops. In this dresser here is where I keep a lot of stuff. Take a quick peek. Here's all my handhelds that I play a lot. They're just here, charged, ready to go. This drawer here is all my DS games and 3DS games. Notable stuff like Dementium, Castlevanias, Moon. And then here on the side I have my N64 DD games as well as some boxes and accessories back there. Here's where I keep my Nintendo Switch, my PlayStation Portable, PlayStation Vita, Sega Saturn, and Sega CD games. One of my favorites, Need for Speed Underground Rivals. Next drawer, we have some PS1 games, Genesis, Engage, and a lot of oddball systems like CDI, Amiga CD32, uh, 3DO, Jaguar CD Turbo Graphics, and not really oddball, but Dreamcast. Tucked all the way back there, Master System. Here's where I just keep a lot of odds and ends, transfer packs, wires, accessories, multi-taps, and then some Neo Geo AES games and some 3DO long box games. Bottom drawers where I keep a lot of my old stuff here, Atari, ColecoVision, Television. Moving along up here, got some sealed Ghostbuster cars, and then got some console boxes here, my 3DO boxes, both variations, Super NES and NES. Game Genies. Here is my Wii shelf along with some special big boxes and special editions of Switch games including the Let's Go games, Legacy of Fear and Sonic Mania. But these games you see on this shelf up front are some of my favorites for the consoles. So for the Wii and Wii U it would be Fire Emblem, Smash Bros Wii U, Pokemon Battle Revolution and Pikmin 3. Here we have my Xbox One and PS4 and Wii U shelf. Got a lot of VR games. There's a lot of great VR games, especially horror games. I'm really loving the VR. Favorite PS4 games are The Walking Dead Season 1, Home Sweet Home for the VR. Scary, scary game. And then for Xbox One, Dying Light and State of Decay. If you can't tell, I like zombies in horror games. And then here's my original Xbox and 360 games. Favorite original Xbox games are Destroy All Humans and Stubbs, Rebel Without a Pulse, 360 would be Tornado Outbreak and Ultimate Alliance Gold Edition. And then some more 360 games there. Down here is PS2 and PS3 games, Vice City and Bully, favorite PS2 games on the shelf. And then Lollipop Chainsaw and Naughty Bear for PS3. Got some more PS3 games there. Now over here, we got a mint complete in box steel battalion for the original Xbox. Then the collection of uh, 20th, 20th anniversary Pokemon stuffies with some evolutions. They're sitting in the bottom of my N64 kiosk, which I modded with LEDs. It's a Japanese blue and white console and controllers. It's running at EverDrive 64. It's currently playing the Majora's Mask preview disc. On top of the N64 kiosk, we got my six fantastic boxes, a Mario Kart 64 Wario, just some Star Fox figures. Up top we just got the Starlink, R-Wing, Bowser Jr., a special Soul Calibur 2 fight stick. And then over here, we have my original 1980 arcade, modded with Pandora's Box 4. So over 600 games on this arcade cabinet. <clears throat> Even has working coin slots still. Currently playing Mega Man 2 on the arcade. Awesome game. So let's pan back here behind my two reclining leather couches. So you can see the arcade and the 64 kiosk. Up here is my N6 or sorry my Super Nintendo box games.
These games here are some of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Toy Story, Lion King, Ultimate, Mortal Kombat 3, Lemmings, Super Mario Kart, Zelda Link to the Past, Super Mario World, Bomberman 2, Sim City and Cement, Smart Ball, Maximum Carnage, Pocky and Rocky, and Tetris Attack. Over here we got some more boxed SNES games. I really love the cover art of Separation Anxiety. And here's Donkey Kong 1 and 3. Before you ask where's 2, you'll see that a little later somewhere else. Magical Quest games are awesome. So let's take a look here. This is my main gaming TV. This is where we do a lot of my more modern gaming here. It currently has Super Smash Bros. Ultimate playing on it. This is my coffee table. This is where I shoot a lot of my videos. So you may recognize some of the perler art. All these are characters that are some from, from some of my favorite games or have a lot of meaning to me. Like Arcanine's original sprite from Red and Blue. Or the Super Mario RPG cast. Or even Earthbound. And even Missing Mill. So the main gaming station here, here's where I keep my Blue Yeti mic and a lot of my streaming stuff. At the bottom here I got my Xbox 360, <clears throat> here's my amplifier for the surround sound, got a Retron 5 there, and then down at the bottom is my PlayStation VR, up here is my PS4, my Battlefield Xbox One S, my Philips CDI 910 unit, my Wii U, my custom. Ice Blue Cube with HDMI out. And then my modded SNES and NES Classics. Up here is my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Switch. And then here we have my Top Loader PS3. Here we have a Permastruct Servo Surfer rental case. I used to rent a lot of NES games as a kid. So these rental cases are very nostalgic for me. I just like to stare at them and remember the good times. Here's my custom female villager amiibo. Up here we just got some boxes. Turbo Graphics 16 Turbo Booster Plus box. A Vader 2600 Super Nintendo. Clear Blue N64. Pikachu N64. A challenge set there and then ColecoVision there. Here's the European Smash Bros Ultimate big box set. Here's the box for my Super Smash Bros Ultimate Switch and then the hardcover strategy guide. Virtual Boy box, Sega Saturn box, Turbo Pad, and then there's a Deluxe Rob Set box there. There's the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Steel Case. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Big Box Set. A couple GameCube game, the GameCube boxes there. And then here is my newly acquired Leon Kennedy Resident Evil 2 Collector's Edition statue. Beautiful statue, well done. And then here is my E.T. figure. Now moving over here is my Nintendo Switch Mario Kart 8 Deluxe promo sign. So that's the main gaming area. Where we do a lot of the modern gaming. That's the stairs out. Now let's take a look in the museum section of the game room. Let's just do a quick pan. So you guys can get oriented. Alright, so we're going to start up here with some Gamecom sealed games, Resident Evil 2 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Here I show some E.T. Love, sealed VHS tape and a vinyl E.T. record. Here's my sealed R-Zone. And here I have Clementine and Lee Everett, Walking Dead figures both variations bottom here I got Peach's Castle here I have Knuckles and Tails Banjo and Conker and Lemming and then above the Lemming is the Lemmings Nintendo Power poster up here is we have the Mario Paint big box with a boo light in the back there's a barcode battler and then the Super Bomberman party pack there with another boo there and on the side we have a sealed Bowser and Toad figure. Now this is my main like shrine shelf so let's start at the bottom here and here we have a lot of my favorite PlayStation games 
So here on the PSP, we have Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Then here we have Hercules, Space Jam, Spider-Man 1 and 2, Clock Tower 1 and 2, Air Gaze, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. In the back there, we have the limited edition Ultimate Spider-Man for PS2. Then the Horror Trifecta, Kuan, Rule of Rose, and Haunting Ground. This really sweet PlayStation Lite. And then we have the Bully Collector's Edition with the Volleyball. Sorry, not Volleyball. The Dodgeball. And then here we have Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles on PSP. Amazing game. Behind that, we have some really notable PS2 games. Biker Mice from Mars, Mr. Mosquito, Dog's Life, Disaster Report, Silent Hill 2, 3, and 4, Fatal Frame 1, 2, and 3, Clock Tower 3, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, absolutely phenomenal game, Africa on PS3, and then a couple more PSP games, Lemmings and Ghosts and Goblins. Next shelf here is Mega Man. I have the Mega Man Legacy Collection on 3DS there with the gold amiibo. We have custom Mega Man Red Amiibo I made. Mega Man 6, 5, and 4 for NES Complete. Pixel Pal Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man Legends 2. Here we have Mega Man 7 in box with Mega Man's helmet. We have the super rare Mega Man Powered Up and Mega Man Maverick Hunter X for PSP dual pack. Then we have the Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2 for Switch, Mega Man 8 for PS1, then Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for Game Boy in box, other Pixel Pal, Mega Man Legends 1, then we got Mega Man 11, the big box set for Switch, more Amiibos, and then finally Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 complete in box for NES. Up here is my Fire Emblem shelf. We got some Fire Emblem of Amiibos there like Krom, my custom made female Robin, Lucina Figma, my girls Tiki and Celica. And then here I have my Fire Emblem Warriors big box set for Switch, Fire Emblem Fate Special Edition for 3DS, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, Fire Emblem Echoes, Fire Emblem Awakening, Fire Emblem Sacred Stone sealed with a not for resale cart, and behind Krom is Fire Emblem on GBA. Now up here is my Bowser Shrine, or Bowser Shell. Bowser is my favorite video game character, so I love to collect all these cool things from Bowser. Even got a Super Famicom Mario RPG complete in box back there. So yeah, Bowser rocks. Up here we got Pikmin. I love Pikmin, it's one of my favorite series and games. So here we have Pikmin Strategy Guide, official, for Pikmin 2. We have Pikmin 2 on Japanese GameCube, custom Pikmin, LED light. Here's my VGA graded Pikmin 2 for GameCube. Here's Olimar and all his Pikmin in this little casing. Here's the Nintendo Power issue for Pikmin 2. Here's the special cover version of for Pikmin 1, the Nintendo Power issue. Some stuffies there, and then Pikmin 1 official strategy guide. And some more sealed Pikmin Amiibo. Now this top shelf is very special to me. This is my top 10 favorite games of all time in no real particular order. But they are Pokemon Heart Gold, Super Mario RPG, Earthbound Big Box, Pikmin, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is a sealed version of Fire Emblem Warriors for Switch Big Box, Left 4 Dead 2, Pokemon Red, and the Snow Brothers on NES. Again, that's my top 10 favorite games of all time. Now on the side here, I don't really collect many action figures, but a lot of these were from my childhood and just nice to see them displayed. This is the Maximum Carnage Triple Threat set. Here's the clear and standard Stealth Venoms. Venom is my favorite comic book character, so gotta show some Venom love in the game room. This is a new modern set of Venom and Carnage. Here's a random Iceman figure, just one of my favorite toys as a kid. Sealed Disney Infinity Venom. And here, really out of place, is Batman Forever, Joker, and Two-Faced. I got these for my birthday when I was really young, and yeah, I just remember it being a very good birthday. So they bring those memories. Now I got these glass shelves here. This is where I keep a lot of my really odd and obscure stuff. So let's open that up and take a look. At the bottom here, we got my... 3DO top loader and front loader with plumbers, don't wear ties, Virtuoso, and some other long box games. 
Here's my Amiga CD32 with a sealed town with no name. Here we have some of my rare handhelds, including the Nomad, Lynx 2, Nokia Engage, Gizmondo, Gamecom, some Game & Watches, Micro. Here's my Neo Geo AES with a couple games. that up. Up top here we have my Neo Geo AES box with some Spider-Man figures, my Vectrex box, Wonder Swung, Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition, my Sega CDX box, and the Star Wars 360. Now here we have three Game Boy Colors. On this side we have the other three Game Boy Colors, so the six main Game Boy Colors. This is my special Pokemon Crystal Game Boy Color box set that I bought when I was a teenager. Here's my N64 Pokemon Battle Set. Really love this box art, it's awesome. Conquer there. Now here's my N64 shelf. Starting at the top here, the games in the back are some of my favorite N64 games, that's why they're here on the shelf. This is a Spiced Orange with Mario Kart 64. This is the collector's edition of Zelda Ocarina of Time with the gold N64. There in the back is a special promo of when the Fantastic for 99 bucks. Super Smash Bros. 64, and my favorite N64 console, the Ice Blue. Here's Majora's Mask and the Grape N64. Here's my N64 disk drive DD. Sitting on top of that is my Diahawks N64 with a couple of games there. Here's Perfect Dark with the Japanese uh, clear blue. Here's WrestleMania 2000 with the smoke black. Mario, Mario 64 with the watermelon and the jungle green with Donkey Kong 64. Now here we have my Telstar Coleco Pong console. Then I have my 6 switch Atari Woody 2600. And here's my Intellivision with the Intellivoice module. Currently has a B17 Balmer in it. And then playing it here now is my 1980 console television from Hitachi. There's nothing better than playing the original hardware on a period correct TV. It's really awesome. So we have another shelf over here. So let's open it up and take a look. Starting at the bottom here, we have my Radio Shack Tandy Vision and my Coleco Vision. Uh, or Coleco Gemini clone console. Then we have Mr. Basics Meet Spits and Bites and He Man on the Intellivision. Moving up, we have the Weird Controller for the CDI and the top loading Magnavox CDI with the Triforce of Crap. Zelda faces Zelda, Wanda Gamelon, Link faces of evil, and Zelda is Adventure for CDI. And then hands down one of the worst games of all time. Dark Castle on CDI. Moving up, we have my Atari Jaguar and Jaguar CD. Alien vs. Predator in there. Sealed copy of Doom. Sealed copy of Shaq Fu for the Genesis. And a fan made port of Snow Brothers, which came out on the Mega Drive, but this plays on the Genesis. We got Gargoyle sitting on my Sega CDX. And then Action 50 Do, complete and boss for Genesis. This is my Turbo Shelf. We have my TurboGrafx-16 with my favorite Turbo game, Bomberman 93. Got Darkwing Duck there. We have the Turbo CD, Turbo CD system card. There's my Turbo Express. And then in the back here we have the Turbo Booster Plus. And then we have a Turbo Play promo flyer there. Up here we have the Atari Jaguar box. Atari Jaguar CD box, and then the TurboGrafx-16 box. Up here we have some of my earliest gaming memories. Games here, these five games. Nightmare on Elm Street for NES, North and South NES, Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Clash of Demon Head, Ghostbusters 2, and River City Ransom. Here we have a couple of Nintendo Power posters, Pokemon Stadium 2 and Super Mario RPG. Here we have more of my childhood boxed NES games. Moving all the way 
to the back here. And here I have my Smash Bros. Brawl la promo lanyard, and then the promo sign for Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, including an amiibo sign there. Now this is actually three-dimensional. You can actually like put your hand back there, as you can see, so it pops out. It's really cool. So here is my Sony Trinitron. I absolutely love this beast of a TV. Currently playing Silent Hill, my favorite PS1 game. Silent Hill single-handedly started my love for horror and survival horror games. On top we got Bowser of course and my three favorite Pokemon Arcanine, Umbreon and Luxray. Got some Metroids there and this is the GameStop promo Super Mario Odyssey Bowser Plague. So the Trinitron sits on this cabinet here, houses a lot. Hooked up to the Trinitron we have my GameCube and Super Nintendo. GameCube is running component cables. Got my PS2, fat. There's my Crystal X box. On top is just a little diorama of South Park classroom. Right here I have a bunch of Koopa kids sitting on top of my original Ghostbusters firehouse. And inside I do have the original car. My son absolutely loves playing with that firehouse just like I did as a kid. In these drawers I just keep controllers and remotes, nothing too fancy in there. Inside here I have a plethora of consoles hooked up. Got my PS1 that's modded, I have my N64, my Dreamcast, Wii, Sega CD, Sega Genesis and Sega 32X, Sega Saturn and a DVD VHS combo player. Currently watching Power Rangers, the original series, with my son. Over here in this little tube TV, we have Snow Brothers playing on my NES. Here are some of my favorite TV video game shows, including Captain N, Mega Man, Zelda, and some Mario's. Sealed NES Nintendo Power Mints there. Some Pixel Pals on top. So right here we have a really odd thing. This is a aftermarket NES controller. Really not nothing special, but it's nostalgic. Me and my brothers used to fight over who got the turbo controller as a kid. I found this sealed one for five bucks. I just couldn't pass it up. Down here, just a Hylian shield. And I kind of store my capture card and some other streaming stuff back there. This is my McDonald's GameCube controller or GameCube kiosk. When I got it, it was pretty beat up. I switched out controllers in the console. I do want an official Nintendo GameCube kiosk someday, but they're just incredibly rare to find in Canada. So until then, I've got this McDonald's GameCube console and it's running my favorite GameCube game, Pikmin. So here is the GameCube controller set. This is a complete official wired GameCube controller set. There's a DeLorean my brother built me. It was a model, love that. And then just got the notable hype, or, uh, hip gear GameCube controller with a built-in screen and then the Mega Man X controller there. I'm not gonna go too much into the GameCube stuff because I have a whole video dedicated just to the GameCube section. So be sure to check that out on my channel if you wanna see more GameCube stuff in detail. Real quick here, we got Panasonic Q-Box, some more GameCube stuff. Got some Yoshi's Amiibos here that I custom painted in the Yoshi's Island sealed VHS. Here is my Panasonic Q. My Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles with Game Boy Player, GameCube. The Char's GameCube and the Starlight Gold GameCube. Over here is my complete North American GameCube set. All 554 titles. All in alphabetical order, all complete, and all black label. Except for this one guy. The Pac-Man vs. Pac-Man World 2 only came in player's choice, so that's why it sticks out. At the base there I have my official Nintendo GameCube mat. Up top, just a bunch of GameCube box variations. That Metroid set is sealed. And then here's just some of my Rare two pack sealed accessories and, stu and such, and then all the console variations. 
So moving on up top here, we have some console boxes like the Amiga C32, Genesis, some little odds and ends here like my childhood Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story Tamagotchi, and Homer Simpson's car he made. The C64 Mini, Oregon Trail, we got Wreck-It Ralph in there. Just some box consoles and accessories like the Power Base Converter, Rollin' Rocker, Miracle Piano for NES. Some more uh, Sega stuff here, Master System and Sega CD. CDI box, Genesis 32X, and the Sears Telegames box. So here has a lot of different shelves all packed into one big shelf. So let's start looking at the handheld section here. We got stuff like the Wreck-It Ralph Mini Arcade, love that thing. Some notable stuff like the Crystal Blue 2DS, the NES SP Neo Geo Pocket Color, got a PSP Go back there. Got the Smash Bros. Game Bo or Smash Bros. DS's e-reader sealed bundle GBA. We got the Game Boy printer, camera, original Game Boy in box, the pretty rare Mario Party e-reader set. The ice blue Game Boy Pocket, love that thing. Then I got my blue PS Vita and this Double Dragon Tiger handheld. Very nostalgic, but it's awful. Moving on, we have the NES. We got a couple Robs here, including the Fami Rob. In the back there, we got Action 52. We got a top loader NES control deck complete. NES 3DS. Power Glove, Sealed NES Classic, got an advantage there, 4 score, some original Mario figures from back in the day, that's the original NES shelf. Here we have my Pokemon shelf, so we got some cool stuff like both Game Boy Colors for Gold and Silver and Pokemon Yellow, complete in box, the Pikachu Pocket Printer. I got the entire series of the Burger King Pokeballs there in the back. Some badges, the Pokemon 3DS, the video Pokemon Green, sealed Pokemon Dialga and Palkia, DS Lite, got the Pokeball 2DS. Here's Pokemon Teaches Typing, complete in box for DS, and then the Ultra Sun and Moon and, Ult and Sun and Moon big box steel cases. Here we have a bunch of odds and ends as well. We got a Wu-Tang controller, a clear PS4 controller, the Ouya, my Turbo Duo slash PC Engine Duo. Got the ColecoVision with expansion module. Got my Sega Master System. We got ELF there, complete in box. Ocean Blue PS2 with an official wireless controller. We got Pepsi Man on PS1. We got the four of my PS2 Slims, including the pink. And on top, we got the complete Vice City Grand Theft Auto soundtrack set. Down here, we have some really neat controllers. The three Hyperkin Duke Xbox One controllers. The Dragon Quest Slime controller. A couple of Poketekin Fight controllers there. Ocean Shadow sealed Xbox One controller and the 500 million PS4 controller. Here we got some special edition 360s, including the R2-D2, Star Wars 360. Beside that, we have the Dead Rising Zombrex Big Box Edition. Middle console is the red Resident Evil 5 Xbox 360. I got Death Smiles Limited Edition box set there for 360, and then the Halo Reach 360, all with their respective controllers. Here's my Mountain Dew original Xbox with some of the rare games for the original Xbox, including Jurassic Park and Outrun and Futurama. Over here we have three more variations of the original Xbox, the clear blue, the crystal, and the clear green. Here's my Atari XE with keyboard and tape recorder. Up here we have the Night Trap Sega CD 32X version. My Neo Geo CD in the back there, we got Seaman 2, Japanese only. Here's the Sega Channel and Box. My R Zone, we got an Atari 7800 there, Atari 5200 there. Here for Atari 2600, we have ET and Ghostbusters. Next to that, we have my Sega Sports Dreamcast box and console. 
with Seaman, Big Box, and Spirit of Speed for Dreamcast, and a couple of sealed blue VMUs there. Up here we have my Wii section. So I have a white Wii U with white Pro Controller, and then the four variations of the Wii U, white, red, blue, and black with their respective controllers. Up here we have some of my rare Super Nintendo games, including Pocky and Rocky 1 and 2, Castlevania Dracula X, Demon's Crest, Earthbound, not rare, Chrono Trigger, Ghoul Patrol, Mega Man 7, SOS, and Biker Mice from Mars. Then we have a complete in box hyperscan in the back. Up here, we have my little PlayStation area with my favorite PS1 game, Silent Hill, and then the super rare Misadventures of Tron Bond, and we have Castlevania Symphony of the Night with a long box, Lemmings, long box, Resident Evil 1, and then this special PlayStation Magazine Demo Disc 16, which is very nostalgic to me. Stay tuned for a future video about that. Then we have the PS1 Mini console with the official LCD screen. Over here we have my Pokemon console section with a Pokemon promo poster there. We have the Japanese orange Pikachu console. Then we have the blue Japanese Pikachu console, the North American blue Japanese console, some Evolutions, and then the PAL Australian Pokemon Stadium console, which this is my favorite, I love it. Here's my Super Nintendo shelf. Here you can see we got Super Nose Art 3D, box Super Nintendo controller, Super Advantage, Super Game Boy, Super Scope. Got a Super Nintendo control deck mini there. Super Nintendo 3DS, and then a Super Nintendo Classic Edition, and then the multi-tap. Did I say that? Here is my Zelda shelf, starting off with the Game & Watch Zelda, complete in box. The 3DS Skull Kid set. In the back there, behind these amiibos, we got the Zelda Treasure Chest set and the Hylian Shield 2DS. The Twilight Princess HD Remake Big Box. Zelda Band, the Zelda Wii U console, special edition, the Wind Waker HD big box, Zelda Breath of the Wild Switch controller, this is the Zelda 25th Anniversary 3DS there, I bought that new on Boxing Day when it released that year, and then some Zelda figures there, and way under opponent's legs is the Zelda Majora's Mask 3DS. That's going to wrap up that shelf. Now here is my ET official promo hanger. It's actually sealed when I got it. I opened it up and hung it. Love that thing. At the top here we just got some random NES games here. Silver Surfer, Bucky O'Hare, Cheat Him In, Action 52. This Legend of Zelda is actually sealed with the original price tag. Very cool. This is my closet where I store a lot of the overflow consoles I can't display as well. There you can see my Saturday morning RPG for Switch there, sealed. Weird controller there. Now inside this cabinet here is where I keep my entire Nintendo Power set. All 285 issues, except for issues 1 and 285 obviously because they're on the wall in the other part of my game room. But nice and easy to just come in, grab an issue and have a read. Really love the Nintendo Power set. It's one of my favorite things in my collection. At the end there I got some PlayStation magazines, not many, and some strategy guides. In the drawers I just have some random stuff here like ET game guide, manuals, random stuff. And then in this drawer here I have strategy guides like Super Mario RPG, Earthbound, such and such. Packed full of strategy guides. Here I have my Bowser and Mario RC cars. Moving along over here, I have my childhood N64 games. Yes, I had Superman 64 as a kid. Leading over here, we have my Poke Corner. All my Pokemon games. Quick here, we have Olimar and some sealed Pikmin and World Nintendo figures. In the back here, all the mainline Pokemon games. I don't collect Pokemon cards, but I do have a set for my three favorite Pokemon, Umbreon, Arcanine, and Luxray. Here's a Pokemon Snap printout I did of 
my favorite Pokemon Arcanine. There's a Japanese version of Pokemon Snap. The uh, Nintendo Power issue on Pokemon Snap. Here's the Pokemon Snap game box. Some of my favorite legends here, Reshiram and Dialga. Got some more Pokemon Snap guides. This is my Pokemon Pikachu VCR. Here's the Pokemon Snap credit cards. And then this is an official Charizard from 1998. And then here, one of my prized possessions in my collection is my Pokemon Snap Station from Blockbuster. Absolutely love this thing. Still works in prints. This is one of my favorite things of all my collection. Pokemon Snap Blockbuster Station. Now here is my Zippo display case that I've used for displaying Game Boy games. It rotates, it lights up. You can see here I got one section for Game Boy Advance. Here's some more, more rare titles. The Mega Mans, the Spuds, Castlevanias, Spider-Mans. Those aren't really rare, but yeah. Really, really awesome display unit. May do a video on this in the future. It's a real quick pan. All right, finally, this dresser here. Top drawer, that's where I keep extra Game Boy games, Virtual Boy games, Lynx games, Game Gear games, GBA games, R Zone, and Neo Geo Pocket Color games. And then some TV shows, nostalgic shows from when I was a kid. I just like to pop in once in a while, like Ghostbusters or You Afraid of the Dark. Home Improvement, Quantum Leap, Dinosaurs, Chippendales, the original Pokemon TV show, Tailspin, Power Rangers, Alex Mack, Saved by the Bell, and then of course my, my son's Paw Patrol movies in there. Next drawer is where I keep my Super Nintendo loose carts. Love the Super Nintendo. More Super Nintendo loose carts and Super Famicom. Here's a little spot where I keep all my memory cards. Finally here, so I keep my N64 games, loose Jaguar games, Sega Master System, and Genesis, and 32X games, loose carts. Alright, that's going to wrap it up. That was the 2019 brand new Game Room Tour. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. You know, you want to see anything in depth, please let me know. I love to share the collection and everything with you guys. So yeah, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. So until the next video, happy gaming. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Be sure to follow me on social media you can find me on Facebook, Console Collector, on Twitch, Console Collector, and Instagram, the underscore console underscore collector. Check out the description for more info. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the Console Collector, and until the next video, happy gaming.